There are many types of lockout devices that can be used to isolate a piece of equipment from its energy source. The most common are padlocks, chains, and valve clamps. More specialized devices such as wedges and pins are often used with hydraulic or pneumatic systems. Tag-out devices provide visual warnings that work is being performed on a machine or piece of equipment. The tags identify the people who are working on the machine and can also indicate why the equipment is out of service. Remember, tags only provide information. Alone, they cannot secure energy isolation devices, so they should be used with locks whenever possible. If you are involved in activities requiring lockout tagout procedures, your employer will provide the locks, tags, and other devices you will need. These must be identified as lockout tagout devices only. They cannot be used for any other function and may not be shared with other workers. You should also never use non designated devices for lockout tagout. For instance, you shouldn't take a padlock from a locker or toolbox and use it to lock out an electrical panel. Lockout tagout devices must be easy to identify and durable enough to stand up to any harsh conditions they are likely to be exposed to. Finally, locks must be difficult to remove, so they can't be taken off by accident.